So everybody's yeah. motivated because I think EMFs is a very interesting one. And I just want to come back yeah. to this idea that what we know about EMFs right now is that it does create destruction to the blood brain barrier. And the blood brain barrier is exactly right. that. It blocks stuff from getting into your brain. And there's a new concept called leaky brain where that brain barrier gets <laughs> its integrity is lost. And now toxins can get in, inflammation starts. Is there anything else we need to know about EMFs, phones, and what it does to our brains? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, those are big indicators because I really saw that one study was like allowing the proteins and the yeah. albumin to go right into the brain. And then it's just like this cascade of inflammatory responses. And again, it's like if you're doing this Oh, and people would say, oh, well, I'm listening to a, I'm using my phone right now. I don't feel anything. Right. <laughs> Just like, okay, well, eat an apple. Do you feel have, you have energy to run a marathon after eating an apple? No, this is, th we live in a, this more than anyone. We live in a homeopathic yes. world, essentially, right? A, li a little bit of sun, some good rest, get some water. But also on the other side, if you keep getting exposed to the phthalates and the endocrine disruptors and the PFOS, over time, this starts to create the disharmony over that period of time. So the micro doses is really what yes. we're talking about. What yeah, was that question? was good because I think EMFs is a scary big topic. Yeah. And I like that it's about yeah. changing your habit with it. We're not saying like shut your phone off or, I mean, I love that you're out in the woods and yeah. you've got Starly, you've had to Wi-Fi and I think that's all great. But to make this applicable yeah. for people, put it on airplane mode when it goes in your pocket. Yeah. So the EMFs thing, like at minimum, just unplug, turn off your Wi-Fi router yeah. at night. You don't need it on. And just to kind of create a context for people maybe hearing this for the first time or it's hard for them to grasp. Yes, this is an invisible electromagnetic world. You can't see it. It's even worse than the telecommunicate or excuse me, the tobacco yeah. industry, right? And they kicked that can down the road and lied for 40 <laughs> years. So imagine telecommunication company is ranking up there as doing very similar things. They know that this is harmful with proximity and duration. So you talk about just quickly ionizing radiation. We know it rips the DNA apart. It's x-rays. Mm. It's on that spectrum, but it's easy to say, well, this is non ionizing. And so where the science is starting to show is yes, it's not acutely ripping your DNA apart. But again, over time, it's causing, and everyone can understand this, it's causing stress in the body. How is it doing that? On a cellular level, it's increasing free radical yep. oxygen species, yep. right? It's creating free radicals. So so your body is, it's under attack. It's like a, the crazy thing, Dr. Mindy, it was like for me when I was reading the EMF stuff and then I go back to the chemical exposures from our personal care, I'm like, oh my God, it's, it's like the, the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. It's almost as if these EMFs are acting like these chemicals are because they're, they are affected. They're showing the stress responses on a cellular level. And then the freaking sperm yes. motility is going down, testosterone activity, potential links to endometriosis. Like this and breast cancer and prox approximation of cell phones and, and all women, please take the cell phone out of yes. your sports bra and, and men, please take it out of your damn pocket. Again, proximity. Yes. And so the, these are the scary things. So those kind of stress responses kept showing yeah. up over and over again. And then the brain stuff as it relates to the opening of that blood brain barrier, inflammatory responses. And then of course, the tumor-like yeah. effects that are going on. And I really think that has more to do with the RNA and DNA signaling because you're always in, oh, this is the other way. So, so when your body is naturally in autophagy and it's getting rid of cells and cell death, that was interesting to me. Seeing the studies where naturally the body knows how to get rid of it, especially through yeah. Yeah, especially through fasting and everything else. Actually, a tribute to do yeah, fasting. Yeah, right. thank you. So, so uh, much. Not, not for you. I did. Other than it was for you because I knew I was going to be talking to you, but I knew yeah. I needed to. And so I was like, well, I'm fasting. So that autophagy pathway starts to get thwarted by the electromagnetic fields. 
And so if you have a cell that's no longer viable and dead, yeah. right? And the body is trying to get rid of it and it can't, or the pathway is changed or altered. What do you think happens? Now you're talking about yeah. terrain. Now the terrain is starting to change. And now you're starting to understand that once the terrain has changed, the landscape of how the body is dealing with something is changing. And then that opens up a whole right. can of worms of what terrain and germ theory is. But when you're not able to get rid of it, that's where carcinogenic activity can really take okay, hold. This is super interesting. Um, You've got yeah. my fasting brain sparked now. So, so autophagy is the cell's ability to repair itself in the most basic sense. So yeah. are you saying that with EMF yes. exposure, that is damaging the autophagy capabilities of a cell? Yeah, that's, that's what the yeah. research was that's showing. That's amazing. And it's like, well, what? And yeah, so what do you think is going to happen with that yeah. environment? environment if that is not able yeah. to be done. And so you know? when then I'm wondering is if you put yourself in a fasted state trying to stimulate autophagy, then I'm is sure. will it reinvigorate that part of the cell? And we probably don't have any studies showing exactly that, but I don't know, maybe in like, is there a way to bring autophagy back online knowing that we're like, if I live in a city and I've got a lot of EMFs coming into yeah. my home, if it's, if autophagy is being shut down from that, can I bring it back online with things like fasting? Yeah. I mean, you have some interesting questions and ideas in that because on the one hand, isn't an overwhelming stress yeah. response? right? Is it just that continuous exposure causing more and more stress? And so as you died. So the first thing I would say is minimize as much Agreed. as possible the exposure, yeah. right? So minimize that stress. And that stress is, again, what are you doing with your phone? Where's the Wi-Fi routers? Can you get your ass outside and put your feet on the ground and get rid of some of that polarized essential radiation in your you, body through yeah can you talk grounding. about that for a moment because i love this idea of grounding and you and zach did it on your show you all went out and and i was that was the first time i'd seen it but <laughs> i don't want to lose that thought because that's a counterbalance to what we're talking about talk about why grounding works yeah well it's we're living on a battery mm. of the earth and the earth is a depolarized energy field right and so the whole deal comes by way of this polar polarization and a great i'll get to the earth and grounding but to understand polarizing and non-polarizing life is and what we have here in nature, it's non-polarizing. Now, there's a couple examples of that. The sun is non-polarizing. Mm -hmm. But you can take, we've all done that experiment, you take a little magnifying glass, you polarize, you bring that energy to it, and then it can mm -hmm. burn something. And it can start a fire, it can do all that stuff. It, also, an example of, a, let's say, an energy field. If you take a pebble and throw it in the water, non-polarizing normal response is the you see mm. the ripple effect right that's non-polarizing wave because it's not polarized if you threw a pebble or a rock in the water and then it was polarized it would mean that all of the energy that you threw in the water would then be polarized into one place and then it could shoot out and essentially be a tar it could target okay. something if that makes sense so that's the demonstration of non-polarizing radiation. When we have polarizing radiation, this buildup of stress response in the body, a simple remedy of dumping the pollution of that, the body is trying to balance itself and within the field. It's always doing that. We're feeling and sensing and feeling and sensing our entire life. And so now we've created fields that are polarizing. So our, my bodies are feeling and sensing all of this manufactured fields, which is then what we're seeing is the stress. If I go outside and I put my feet on the ground, you now create that conduction. You're not separated from this magnetic field, this frequency of the earth, and it has the ability to pull those frequencies and create a, a, a circuit that allows for that, your body to be balanced again. So that, if I'm so out, that, just like, let's say I get on a plane, 
because I, I think you, the way I've used it is in jet lag. Yeah. I get on a plane. I'm pretty much in a tube that's got Wi-Fi mm -hmm. coming into it and all other problems. I get to a new time zone. All that energy is creating chaos within my cells. And when I put my feet on the ground, it gives a direction for that energy to go back into the earth. Is yes. that correct? Okay. Bingo. So it's as basic as every home that we're all sitting in has a copper wire driven into the ground and the electrical panel of that house and that building is wrapped around that copper and driven into the ground because we were killing people when we were not grounding homes and the electrification yeah. we we're putting in buildings because it would it would not have the polarizing arcs would not have a place to go and then this as soon as you would be in touch, it's arcing on you and that's right. where it creates danger, right? So the same thing that we're, do we're doing, literally demonstrating in construction of every home on the planet, we're literally needing to do that ourselves.